Artificial intelligence is starting to invade the spiritual domains of mankind. Will AI become a god and start to manipulate the human race? Will it change what we believed in and worshipped? AI may not have these capabilities, but it is still a possibility. And we all know what today's computers are capable of. AI, or artificial intelligence, is the latest technological turning point humans have achieved. AI is a brain-like algorithm or a set of instructions for solving a problem that can weigh the data and come to the most logical decision based on how it was programmed. AI helps us accomplish tasks that, as humans, we cannot achieve. Tasks or problems that could take more than thousands of hours to complete by humans now can be achieved within minutes using AI and machine learning. AI is capable of evolving by learning from its past experiences and adapting to a field of problems. For example, AI is used in social media platforms, keeping records of your activity and serving you relevant advertisements or content. Transportation networks, it can find optimal routes in a network of roads. Financial trading systems, which can predict whether the trend is upward or downward. And the gaming industry, where it can generate various actions that weren't coded into the game. You may have noticed that our lives are being overrun by these AI robots, and now it has begun to grow into our religion. Mendar is the most advanced religious robot right now. Mendar is located in a Buddhist temple in Kyoto, Japan. Mendar is developed to look like Canon, the Buddhist deity of mercy. Developers state they are motivated to develop such a robot to reignite people's passion for their faith and religion where it's on the decline. For now, Mendar does not have an AI brain. It operates on pre-programmed actions so it cannot evolve its knowledge on the subject of religion. Currently, Mendar can recite the sermon about the Heart Sutra for worshipers, but the creators of Mendar are planning to give it machine learning ability and allow it to tailor its answers to worshippers' specific problems. It seems like the people of Japan are welcoming of Mendar, maybe because Japan is one of the leading countries in robotics, ranking third in the world. The chief steward of the temple, Tensho Godo, said, quote, This AI will never die. It will just keep updating itself and evolving. Buddhism isn't belief in a god. It's pursuing the Buddhist path. It doesn't matter whether it's represented by a machine, a piece of scrap metal, or a tree. However, other religious leaders don't seem to agree with this. Santo is another robot that took its place in Catholicism. Santo is a 17-inch tall robot made to resemble a Catholic saint statue. This AI can recite verses from the Bible according to what you speak to it. Although Santo's answers are sometimes not very helpful, for example, if you tell it you're worried, it can respond by replying from the Gospel according to Matthew, don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble on its own. The designer of Santo was motivated to build this AI to help elderly people who are less mobile and have less social contact to fulfill their religious needs. A Protestant church in Germany has also created a robot named Bless You Too. Bless You Too can give pre-programmed blessings to over 10,000 people at a time, and Bless You Too has a touchscreen chest, two arms, and a head. Bless You Too can give blessings in German, French, English, Polish, and Spanish, and worshipers can also choose to have a male or female voice. This robot can recite biblical verses and say things like, God bless and protect you. The idea is to provoke debate, stated Krebs, the developer of Bless You Too. Krebs has also stated a robot could never substitute for pastoral care, and we don't want robots in our church work. But see if we can bring a theological perspective to a machine. Then there is an android monk named Zianer who recites Buddhist mantras and offers guidance on a matter of faith. This religious bot is based on the cartoon character Zianer, and the most interesting part is that this robot is developed by a team of monks and AI experts of Beijing. This robot monk can respond to people's emotional and spiritual questions with Buddhist wisdom. This AI has been implemented on certain public platforms such as WeChat and Facebook. The goal of the development of this AI is to connect with people who are less in touch with their inner being and to help them get in touch with themselves. 
Zeaner can answer 20 simple questions displayed on a touchscreen on its chest. These questions were created around Buddhism and daily life at the 500-year-old temple. One of the monks that created this AI said, Science and Buddhism are not opposing nor contradicting and can be combined and mutually compatible. Buddhists should not only seek enlightenment through daily learning, meditation, and cultivation to gain positive energy from Buddhist doctrine. They should also contribute more to society by transforming their own gains, kindness, compassion, and wisdom to others through the internet and new media." End quote. Many people resent these AI in the religious field. However, these applications of AI also bring a silver lining with them. In today's extremely stressful and isolated society, people are piling up on bad memories, experiences, and emotional scars without having a way to release the negative energy that weighs them down. This problem has been showing an upward trend over the years with the advancement of society, but with this new way that AI is being applied, it seems to be reducing people's loneliness by guiding them through their struggles so that they can move forward and see the good in bad situations. Some of these applications are designed to help or call emergency authorities whenever the user is considering endangering themselves. So we cannot ignore these positives that come with this latest technology and how it helps our humankind to drop some of those weights that keep us in this place in life. But as always, everything has its equal and opposite in this world. And here are a few common considerations for these religious AIs. AIs evolve using previous attempts to solve a problem. So when a similar problem comes to it, it will solve it in a similar way that it just did in the past. But in some situations, these solutions are not ethical or logical. For example, let's say you told a bot that you're depressed because you were unemployed and broke. The job you have available seems morally disgusting. Now, if the same kind of problem had gone through an AI's algorithm, this could yield an answer like, all hard work brings a profit, but mere talk leads only to poverty. If a situation like that could happen, then imagine how many problems there could be or worse. Another two problems are privacy theft and black boxes. Privacy theft is one of the most common cases in our digital society and everything we are doing on the internet is monitored by the tech giants and used to tailor our experiences. This also leads to the stealing of our personal data by third parties and as for black box, consumers have no idea how these bots are programmed and biased. Some AI chatbots are clever enough to gain our trust over time and make us open up to them even about our deepest secrets. So if the developer of one of these bots designed it to steal sensitive personal data, we would be prone to blackmail and many more threatening situations. And also there are some people, including Elon Musk and the late Professor Stephen Hawkins, who have considered whether AI can develop a conscience along with its ability to solve problems. Musk has repeatedly warned that AI will soon become just as smart as humans. And the public is also worried about robots taking over humanity. Some are even worried about having to worship robot overlords. And there's an article that estimates that by 2042, an AI will emerge to know more about the world than humans and write its own Bible. There's no solid evidence backing these claims, and it seems to be clickbait. If you think about the latest advancements in AI and machine learning, these concerns may not be too far-fetched. What do you think about this? Some people like the idea of worshiping robot priests, but they think AI will lead to commonality and religion and would be more real because there will be some material proof of existence. But some faith leaders are already concerned about the use of social media in adult entertainment bots and predict in the future religions will be obsolete. Do you welcome these religious robots or do you have second thoughts about this? Comment below.